Over 18,000 Arkansans have lost their health insurance due to the state's experimental work requirement for certain Medicaid beneficiaries. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Kelly O'Neill. Jennifer Peñate and Nate Custer are off tonight. In a KNWA special report, I found out if the sweeping change to Arkansas Works is helping families or pushing them into poverty. In June, Arkansas became the first state to impose work requirements on some of its Medicaid recipients. It's a change that thousands of Arkansas works enrollees subject to the work requirement had to adjust to whether they liked it or not. Because at the end of the day, health care coverage is on the line. 4,000 people lost Medicaid coverage earlier this month. More than 12,000 people lost Medicaid coverage. The state of Arkansas has dropped nearly 17,000 people. Despite odds against it, despite uh, enormous criticism, compassion and common sense says that this is a good program for those that are trying to move up the economic ladder and to better themselves. Two months in a row when I was reporting work, uh, the, the system was down. Brandon Chase Goldsmith is an adjunct professor at the University of Arkansas, Fort Smith. But you can find him at this coffee shop grading his students' work. Someone with a PhD who has access to multiple computers and multiple computer systems are having a hard time with this. You can only imagine what someone who doesn't have, you know, you know, maybe they're poor, maybe they don't even have access to their own computer. Goldsmith is on Arkansas Works. His frustrations with the system started with the functionality of the website. People could not update their contact information. Goldsmith says this glitch has since been fixed, but not before causing a headache. Many that tried um, to enroll or go online um, had some problems and they found it difficult to get assistance, so getting a live person on the phone. Robin Rudowitz is an associate director for the program on Medicaid in the Uninsured at the Henry J. Kaiser Family Foundation in Washington, D.C. She co authored a study about the implementation of Arkansas work requirements in perspectives of enrollees. Her findings are based on four focus groups. Some individuals have unstable work hours, so they might be a hairstylist or a contractor. So they might be working more than 80 hours one month and less than 80 hours another month. Um, so those were problems. Transportation was another problem. Lack of jobs, particularly in rural areas, was another problem. But Governor Asa Hutchinson has pushed back against these arguments. The work requirement's a good balance between our compassion to help those that need health care coverage and the simple response that you, if you're able-bodied, you should be working or being trained or volunteering. Over 6,000 Arkansas Works participants have found employment since June. And the Department of Human Services says outreach efforts about the program changes included over 230,000 phone calls, nearly 600,000 letters, over 300,000 emails, and thousands of text messages. We're trying to control that growth of Medicaid spending. And so we're not reducing services to people. We're trying to manage it well. We're trying to make sure that we're operating efficiently, fairly, meeting the needs of our citizens. But Goldsmith says more support for enrollees should be given. Maybe they should be more proactive in actually going to their customer base and talking to the people who are in the system and saying, what problems are you having and what can we do and fix and maybe have a, a way of going in contact with the people. And the state phased in the requirement last year for enrollees age 30 to 49. Now in 2019, enrollees age 19 to 29 will have to do the same. Those who lost coverage in 2018, including those who just lost it in December, can now regain their insurance as long as they meet income eligibility criteria. Other states like New Hampshire and Indiana are scheduled to implement their requirements this year.